this candle was formed due to the Fed rate hike and this is the fourth one they have done and you can see there's a lot of indecision going on in the market right now. Anyway, if you like the video, please leave it a like, subscribe to the channel for more and let's get straight into it. So like I said, there's a lot of indecision here and that is based on this, which is Fed approving their 0.75 point hike to take rates to the highest since 2008 and they also hint at change in policy. So this, of course, has led Bitcoin, Ethereum and stocks to kind of have this initial jump. And, you know, Bitcoin is still up a little bit. However, things actually were flattened out a bit. And you can see here, if we go to the 15 minute chart, you'll see this a lot better. We saw this initial kind of actually drop because I think, you know, a lot of people either manipulate the news or whatever. And therefore that led to the price going down. And then we saw, again, the bullish momentum take price further upwards and by the end end of that 15 minute period you know we had gone all the way from you know this point up to this point meaning bitcoin itself actually gained 2.5 percent of its price in just 15 minutes so very exciting stuff and will this lead us to hopefully a more bullish month well let's see what november has in store for us if we look on our daily charts what can we see we can see we have this major target up here which is this level of supply this order block up here um, which will act as a heavy resistance level if we do make our way up there which i do think we're headed that way um, i think we will see most likely a sell-off after that back down into twenty thousand or so so that's what i'm looking at right now is that kind of level there um, to see some potential resistance being hit we can maybe make a short trade from there um, you know you could wait for some confirmation put your stop loss above the high and then target these lows However, you've got to remember there's a lot of liquidity resting under this level here. So we actually have a nice level which is here at 17.7 uh, up to 17.9k and that is resting below the liquidity so if we do come down and take out this liquidity then we might actually come into this key level and move away again so that is potentially something that could happen that is what i'm looking for to happen um i do think you know we are going to see some bullish momentum but it will just be short term however my bias will change if we break above 22,700. If we break above here, I actually think then we could retest on a level like this and then move higher. And in terms of targets after that, you know, we can literally start to move up all the way up to $28,000 to $30,000 from then. But we do have to break this intermediary high beforehand. Now, on our pivot point super trend indicator, we've actually gone bullish uh, ever since we closed at $20,700. So according to this indicator, you know, we are actually in for a bit more bullish pressure as well, which I agree with. So uh, I would not be surprised to see the price of Bitcoin climb up 5 to 10% in the next week or so. So do watch out for that. And again, with Ethereum, these were the levels that we talked about last time we've actually just hit this level that i was talking about as my target um, as we did have this buy trade and then we've come into our target which was 1650 um, we hit a high of around 1663 and we haven't slowed down just yet so i'm actually still looking price to come up a bit higher potentially to reach this level up here which is kind of between 1720 and 1790 dollars and if we do hit that then i might look for a short trade back down into around $1,500 or so. So those are my Bitcoin and Ethereum kind of forecasts. That's what I'll be looking at and we'll see how they play out. I'll keep you guys updated. Obviously, if you subscribe to the channel, I'll let you know how it all plays out in future videos. And guys, if you're not already trading, there are links down in the description to loads of different exchanges where you can get some great deposit bonuses. As well as this, you know, we have a free link to our Telegram channel where you can take all of our trades for free. And like I said, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do that. We do content pretty much every single day. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, guys. And if you did, big thumbs up and I'll catch you next time. See ya. Mm -hmm.